Steven the Salon Guy here, and I've gotten quite a few requests for a step-by-step -step tutorial on creating an undercut. Now, I've done loads and loads of undercut hair tutorials, but this one I'm going to actually show you a step-by-step -step breakdown. Now, this is Ricardo from HairArtProducts.com. Now, um, what I'm going to do now is really literally break this down for you guys because it can be very intimidating. I've seen this whether you're doing it yourself or you're a professional and you're not really sure where to start. Say, for example, a guy comes in with hair this long um, and he wants this all shaved off. It is, it is kind of intimidating for some people who aren't really used to doing this. So this is really a key essential tutorial on breaking this popular undercut uh, down step by step. So let's begin with the sectioning. So I'm gonna just show you uh, briefly how I go about doing the sectioning and how this can set you up for success. So what you wanna do is you want to use your comb kind of like as a, a pencil, all right? That's your guide, and you're basically going to be drawing a line throughout the side. So what I like to do is I like to start uh, right where kind of like the, the temples are and right where the hair starts to kind of go back in the hairline right throughout the corners, and I just take that comb and I just kind of draw a straight line, okay? And I bring that all the way back. Then I do that on the other side, and then what I'll do is I'll connect it in through the back. And then once you're done doing that, then what you can do is you can then take all of it and then comb it up and clip it off into a, a little knot or you can put a clip in it, whatever you gotta do, but to keep that hair out of the way. And that is what your top section is. Everything else underneath that is what is going to be cut or the undercut. So everything underneath this top section is going to be cut. Once you have this section off, basically you're good to go and you could basically buzz all of this off throughout the sides and the back. Okay, so now let's get started on the actual buzzing of the sides and the back, and I'm ready to go. So I'm using a number two guard. This is an Oster blade on an Andes clipper. Now when you're using these types of professional clippers, it's going to be quite a bit shorter when you're using non-professional clippers, meaning if you're using a plastic attachment on top of a triple zero blade, usually like I've noticed that these are a little bit shorter, okay? So don't get, don't get intimidated or freak out when you see it's a little bit shorter than what you're used to. But I'm using a number two. So the best way to go about doing this is I like to start right throughout the sides here. And especially if your hair is longer, what you want to do is you want to take this kind of like into a, almost like your own ponytail so you have all of this section right here and you have total control of it. Even if it's not this long, as long as you have your section off, you're good to go because all you're going to do is literally take the clipper and you're going to work up into the shape. So. Let's, let's start, I'm using the number two, and here we go. So what's happening is when you pull and use a little bit of tension, watch this, look at that. The hair comes right off basically. And what you're gonna do, see, one shot. Because you have all that tension right there, and because it's nice and tight here, it'll all come right off. Once you have all that, look at this, see? All that hair came off in one, pretty much one shot. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue to work up right up until that line that you created, which is kind of like the part line, okay? Don't go too, too high because you will cut hair that you don't want to cut. And then what you can do is also come around this way and work up like this. So because of the round of the head, it, it requires you to kind of work up a little bit higher like that. So now that this is done, we're gonna to continue to do this throughout the back. And now the back is almost just as simple. So we're taking this all kind of in one shot like this. We're applying a little bit of tension to the hair because that's gonna allow it to come off a little bit easier for us. And look, see, you're creating that, you're holding all of that, you're creating some tension, and it comes off in one shot. Don't forget to go back over this. The key is to go back over it because you are gonna have some sections uh, that you might have missed or that aren't as clean, and I see a lot of mistakes where people just think they go like this and they're done, they move on. No, to really make this clean and to be really, really professional and really, really precise, you need to go over it and over it and over it, and that's the best way to do clipper work, is to really go over it. So now we're continuing throughout this side. Now we're ready to go onto this. Don't forget, hold it in one shot like that. Work your way up, starting right here on the, this side now, and look, all gone. Now come in like this, 
make sure that this section, this hair is out of the way because you don't want to cut any of that and work it right up into that line, that part line that you created from your section. Now go back in this way, make sure you get all those hairs. When you go against the way the hair grows, that is going to really, really make sure that you get all that hair off. So you see I'm going this way with the blade, now I'm going this way with the blade. This is really going to be a lifesaver, especially if you guys are doing this yourself at home. All right, I see a lot of these types of haircuts and you think you're done and you've got pieces sticking out all over the place. But no, you have to really go over this and over this and over this. I'm a Virgo, so I'm a perfectionist. Virgos are perfectionists. So I will literally go over this time at least three, four times just to make sure this is exactly how I want it. So let's do that, see? Look at different angles, move your, move your head around, you know, check it out from this side, check it out from this side, from the back, and just simply go over this to where you don't see any hair sticking out, okay? Come up throughout the sides here. Now again, depending on what kind of look you want, you could go shorter, you know, obviously it's really your call, but I want to do this just because this isn't, you know, super, super extreme, but it's enough to uh, get the point of how to do this. So now that this whole top is done through here, we can now bring this down and cut it. Now the, the, the key to this, the advantage is that you created the undercut. The undercut basically is done. This is all buzz now. You can actually drop this down and leave it. You can create a man bun on top. A lot of you guys want to know how to do man buns. Well, there you go. There's your, you know, twist this around. There's your man bun right there. There's your ponytail. Oh, now watch this. You drop this down and look, look what this creates. This automatically creates its own haircut. You can flip this around this way. You can flip this around the other way. Sometimes just creating this shape is enough to have a really, really cool haircut. So what I want to do is I want to trim the length up a little bit and I want you guys to stick with me. Hopefully you're watching this from start to finish. I just want to create a little bit of a shorter shape into here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Now we bring the top down and you're probably thinking, okay, now what do you do? You've got a few options, like I said. You can leave the length just as is, but this might be too, a little too long for some people. So, this is what I've done. You create a part right down the middle or close to the middle as you can get, and you then determine what you want the length to be. Comb this all straight down, just like this. So basically, it's falling exactly how the hair grows throughout uh, the head shape. Let me just turn this throughout the back here. So you can see, all the way straight down, just like this. I know it looks a little freaky, but <laughs> uh, this, is, this is what you're, you're gonna be uh, setting yourself up for success with. Now, let us start and say, for example, we wanna cut this to about right here, the middle of the ear. My suggestion is you comb it straight down like this by using your comb, just like this. Your comb is your guide. You come in like this, don't cut the front yet, and literally cut it straight across just like that. Okay, see what we did? Continue this around right throughout the back, and all you're doing is simply cutting a straight line. This side is done, now we're going to extend this throughout the back, and again, comb it straight down. You might even need your comb for this, but you're just gonna connect and follow that line just like that. All right, as you can see, I'm coming in straight across just like this. So you're creating pretty much as close to a straight line as possible. Depending on how much you've had a drink, it might not be as straight, but <laughs> that's fine. Now we're ready to come into this side again. So now you have this and you're setting yourself up for success. Again, you might not even have to use the comb if you feel you're, you're accurate enough. There we go. And now for the front part. The front part, I like to leave a little bit longer because if we cut this too short, it's not gonna look right. That's why I didn't cut this front yet. So don't cut the front yet, whatever you do, until you have the sides and the back. So what you can do is you can literally come in like this. As you can see, whoop, let me, let me change body positions here. You're gonna comb this down and kind of comb this back a little bit towards you like that. You can use your comb if you want, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this on an angle. Okay, going forward. See that? You're cutting that on an angle. And the very, very front needs to be the longest point, just like that. All right, now you can come in any little pieces you need to cut off. But as you can see, this goes down like this on an angle, which is going to leave the front a little bit longer. Then if you need to, you can come in and really just straighten that line out. 
by uh, holding it. And now, now I say straighten, I don't mean cut straight across, but I mean if there's any little longer pieces. So there you go. So now this is longer and it will kind of go back and it won't be uh, shorter. You don't really necessarily want it shorter in front. Don't forget now, do the same thing on this side, leaving it longer, angling your fingers down if you want to cut with your fingers right off the bat. And there you go, okay? So it's longer right in through here. You never want the back to be longer. You always want the front to be the longest point. Then if you want, you can come down, comb this straight down, and what will happen is it'll look like this. It'll look like, uh, almost like coming to a point, like a triangle, okay? Now, let's check uh, how even things are. And this side might be a little bit shorter on that side, so that's fine. Come back in and just trim up anything that you feel might be uneven. Sometimes you don't get it in one shot, sometimes you do. And the check for balance, you just pull down on both sides like that, and you're good to go. Now, for styling it, all you gotta do is this. You can bring this all back, slick it all back like this. And now basically your undercut is complete because what you have now is you have your key length of what you want. Sorry, I just gotta comb this out here. Okay, here's the longest point right here. Now, my suggestion, here's what the back looks like. I personally feel this might be a little too long in the back, so that's fine. What you need to do, if you want to bring this up in the back and you feel it's a little too high, all you have to do is just come back in. You can use your comb if you want, or you can use your hands. If you want to use your hands because you feel a little more comfortable, that's fine. Just bring it up to where you want to cut it. So let's cut this up a little bit longer, just like that, a little shorter. Comb this straight down. And what we're doing is we're just combing this all straight back to this one point right in through here. Bring on this side here, comb it straight to you. I'm not extending into the sides, but I'm combing this straight back. And what that does is it leaves the front longer because you don't want to cut too much of this. So that's looking better now because I didn't want, I felt it was a little bit too long. But basically, here is your undercut, okay? You've got this whole thing <clears throat> done. This is the haircut itself. You can layer it if you want. It's totally up to you if you want to bring this up uh, and create some shape throughout the top of it. Totally up to you. Let's just bring this up a little bit like that, okay? If you want to layer the top, you can. And guys, I really hope you stick with me throughout this whole video because this is really, really key. You wanted this step by step. Here it is. All I'm doing is combing everything straight up, just like this. All right, you don't want to take too much off. You're just literally just skimming the top. Slick this back. If you want that slick look, then there you have it. So let's blow dry this, and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done and dry. For the blow dry, what I want to do, I just want to bring this a little bit lower, is you want to lift from the scalp just like this. If you're looking to get that volume, when you lift your hands up like this, then you blow dry right at the scalp area, that is what's gonna give you that volume. I get so many questions saying, how do I get volume on the top of my head? It always falls down. Well, this is how you do it. You hold your fingers like this, and then the blow dryer up just like that. Not for too long, because you will burn your scalp, but just for like a second or two. And you just keep doing this throughout the whole entire head. Lift straight up like that. Straight up. All right, so continue to do this until the whole thing is dry, and then you'll see that you have a lot of natural volume in your hair. And also this helps get rid of, if you have calyx or if you have any parts down the middle, by using your hands and the heat, it will eliminate that. So let's finish this up and then see what, we, what uh, the hair looks like. All right, so this is what we got from the blow dry with using just our hands. There's no product in it and look at how much volume, okay? Look how much volume there is in it. This is exactly what you want. Now there's a few different things. You can choose a product depending on what kind of look you want. If you want to basically leave it all natural, which I don't really suggest, uh, but you can, you just don't put anything in it. The, the blow dry itself speak, you know, is enough. Uh, this is what it looks like from the side, as you can see. But I suggest putting something in it. Now, I'm gonna just let you guys know kind of an inside scoop of what the different products are. Now, if you're gonna use a pomade, which I highly suggest, that's something that gives it pretty good high shine, um, medium, you know, low to medium hold, but it's really for taming and for giving it nice shine. If you're gonna use like a matte paste, uh, that works good too. But you just wanna be careful that you don't use something that has too much strong hold 
um, depending on what you're looking for, but sometimes it gets, it's kind of hard to get through the hair and it gets really tacky and sticky. What you want to do is you want to just start raking it back. I like to just work it in just like this by using my hands and making sure that everything is covered, just like this. Lift it up again, just kind of like how you blow dried it, but you really want to work the product in with your hands and make sure that all of the hair has product in it. That's key to this whole style, is making sure everything has product in it. So here we go, we're slicking it back, and then you rake it back just like this with your hands, and there you have the style, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit closer so you can see uh, what this looks like uh, a little bit closer up. All right, so as you can see, it's got that slick look. It still has a natural volume in it. Let's turn the head this way. All right, it's got a beautiful shape to it. Looks really, really neat. Let's go down this way. Let's just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the back here. Again, this goes back just like this, and it has a really, really sleek, neat look to it, just like that. That's essential to this haircut, is having it really, really uh, look sharp. If Again, if you want, then you can really, really go in and mat this down with your hands to really make it a lot closer. Okay, I like to have a little more of a natural look because sometimes the hair might come down like this. Okay, then you get that really cool kind of, uh, you know, that look just like that, which looks pretty cool as well. And you wanna have that flexibility, so, so say you wanna bring it over like this. You wanna have an extreme kind of side part. All right, and you see that product, what it does is it allows you to have that. Or you wanna go over this way. You really have a lot of flexibility because you cut it in the middle, it's gonna be even on both sides. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I know this was a little more in depth and a little bit of a longer video. I suggest you watching this again from start to finish and really keep with this video because it breaks down step by step on how to achieve this very popular look.